Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Hey everybody, Paul Bray, Family from the Gaming. Um, I am doing a Twitch stream and a YouTube video of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Um, we just had some technical difficulties that just died. Uh, the laptop disconnected from the internet, and so there's not much I could do about that. I'm trying to find an end sign so I make a dormitory um, shop sign. End sign. There we go. All right, so we got what we need for a dormitory. And we're gonna just head over here. Build it inside the pyramid. Grassy from that thing. Alright, so. I'm putting stuff up along the walls. Oh, I forgot to get a door. pick some blocks to that nice. oh I guess this is check to make sure the stream's still working and maybe I can actually get chat on my phone there we go now it's working what am I supposed to tell people about remotes Noah Oh, emotes. No one wants me to show the emotes. Just a second. As soon as we get more subscribers, we'll buy more. Just... No, no, we've, we've bought more. I know. We just need more subscribers to get them on Twitch. So you can only have so many emotes. Oh, for, uh, for Twitch. Yeah, so unless you... Maybe someone destroy the subscribe button. Just destroy it. We don't care. Tell your friends, your family, your dog. Guy. No, uh... Please. Okay, alright, so I got that. It's a very nice hammer. Malroth, he's with me. I don't know what his name is. And I, like always, I forget the one thing, which is to bring to build a door. Don't know why I always forget the doors. I seriously always forget the doors, but I'm gonna go make a door. And it's real simple to build a door. I'll just go do it. Oh, I like you. Hey, don't hit me. I said I like you. He's probably like, then why are you hitting me? Because uh, I like you. Yeah, I don't care about Scorpion. I don't want them to rock me like a hurricane. That's pretty funny. Did you just not not even pay any attention? All right, I'll make one door. They're like they're two by two, by one. 
Fine, we can take care of the scorpion. Or Mara can take care of him for me. See, look at he just got him red. Alright, since I know that I needed some of this before. Okay, give me nothing. So grass seeds are really handy. Get him, Malroth. Dude, you ran my by him. Kobayashi Maru. Looky, looky, looky. Dormitory! Here they come. They come, give me flowers. Or hearts, sorry. <laughs> sorry, say flowers. Okay, wait. There we go. Okay, everyone like this? Oh, yeah, you want much to track. That's right. I'm not doing that right now, buddy. Alright, so that's another uh, room. They're happy. Eight beds, eight rustic beds for them. Scorpion's bite or his butt? Yeah, that's it's called a tail. Yeah, I know it's called a tail. They have more than cobra though. No one's thinking no, generally not. No, generally not. Okay, so what while I thinking of it, let's just build the door first. Uh, this is almost very I don't know, I'm not, I'm real low on iron. There's a... Oh, yeah. It's, it's only one by one, but I have plenty of stuff. Okay. So, I need to... Let's... Uh, Builderpedia Rooms. Uh, oh, that's a better one. I don't want to do that. Scenic shower or just a shower, so it just needs a shower, a towel, and a folding screen. I could probably do that. Shower, towel, folding screen? Let's do that. Uh, shower, towel. There's a towel. Shower. No, I already forgot what I'm looking for. There's a folding screen. It's not decorative. Oh, here it is. Okay. Now I need to shower. There it is. I only need like one, but I'm going to do three. All right, we got the door. We got everything else we need. Oh, no! I just lost my door. Where'd my door go? All right, so we, I was gonna pick some blocks to build this with: sandstone, earth. I got lots of sand. What am I with this? Okay. And... Got more night soil. We're accruing that in grass again. Oh yeah, we got a new logo and t-shirts for everyone interested. They're kind of cool. So, where should we put a little shower room? I could put it right here. That would be pretty easy, actually. Come on. No, I don't want it that way. I want it.
Yep. So. Oh, not him. Step off, dude. Come on. Yay, small shower room. And we've built lots of rooms. Here comes a hairy hermit somewhere. Well, would you look, look at that? It's a mini metal. Give me another mini metal for, um... Smashing, smashing work, effigy. Now you've made so many different rooms, you should start to get a feeling for the ambience of the rooms you make. The amount of gratitude the person leaves when they use a room depends on its ambience. Try mixing things up and see what works best. Ho ho, incredible work, FG. That's ten tablet targets you've blah, 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 blasted, blasted through now. In recognition of your incredible achievement, allow me to upgrade your transformer travel. It's the best I can do. And you can use it to only change and change blocks from one type to another, but to lay down different kinds of blocks at so once. Oh, I hope this serves well completing the rest of the tablet targets. There's ten more tablet targets to complete, and I'll give you the magic pencil. To the pip doop for now. Okay. Oh, there's two of them this time. Whoa! Really like that. Oh wow, they took him out big time. All right, so we're gonna stop this fight very easily by just going to sleep. It makes the guy go away. It makes the death guys that come at night go away, and they're getting worse. These reapers. So I'm tired of fighting them. All right, so I need to do some teleportation. Come over here. I'm gonna get some food. After I get some food, I'll be ready to move on. Okay, that didn't work. Bridge here. No. Okay, what? Got myself a bridge. Now I don't need to worry about it. I see he's fighting ants or something. Red. Red. Oh my goodness.
Okay. Took out took out eighteen um breads. They've just been going to town cooking their bread. Lots of night soil in case I need it. Alright. At some point I can like rework this, but I really need more people out here. I only got like one it looks like. But let's go see the the hammer hood and we can see what the next island we're gonna go to is. <sighs> Alright, buddy. What you got for me? Ho ho, the pyramid is impressive and the oasis is an ostentatious. You've outdone done done yourselves this time. I can't wait to see what the wondrous will works works you'll build next. What Lulu Tuppy needs right now is defenses. Hargon forces could attack without warning. Not that we need more people, trained soldiers, who can help us fight back against the monsters. Well then it sounds like it's time to prepare for a with a new island to find some warriors to really know how to hit 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 from their tip to tip. A new island. Have you got a place in mind? There's a land of never any war, a forbidden place where no outsider dares to set foot, set foot Moonbrook. Moonbrook, do you mean the Moonbrook? I think so. But hasn't that place been abandoned since the castle was sacked? How could there still be war going on there? What does it matter? An island with a never any war rages it sounds just like my kind of place. I'd rather do not send you wh wh whippersnappers to such a dangerous island, some dangerous land, but I don't, I don't know where anywhere else you'll find fighters you need. If you're still willing to risk his life and limb to go there, have a word with C Captain Da Da Da. Okay. Mm, excuse me. So we gotta go to the docks. Just a second, I'm pouring myself a drink. It's just diet soda, caffeine free. Don't freak out. We'll do. I'm just like giving some mini models. I'm done in a while. Yeah, so I can swap mini models for treasure. Oh, we got the recipe for player leers. Yeah. Bustling streets. And we get a bow. Okay. okay. Oh, I learned a new... Oh, hey, careful. Alright. We got some recipes. To the docks we go. Alright, so now we're going to another island. And if I watch the intro movie correctly, it looks like this will be. Kind of last one for this big fight here. Ahoy there, FG. It's funny you should watch up here now. I got some fishing information for you pertaining to the new island. New island, maybe it's Moonbrook. All right, I don't know the name, but she's a big one, a real lunker. Could be the island inhabited with folk, no less human folk. A little flying fish told me it's home to a military general who's fierce as she is beautiful, and a master swordsman whose blood is hot enough to boil a blizzard. Oh, sounds good. Uh, only problem is there's some bad juju about the island, and we pirates, I mean, we sailors, are suspicious, super, super salacious bunch. I'd rather not get within squidding distance of the place. They insist on going, I'll ferry you there. Reluctantly, of course. Come and find me you're ready to leave, and I'll cast hooks for this horrible land of you. Alright, here we go. Now travel to Moonbrook. That's pretty much what it looks like all of this. Yeah, they override our save data when I do this. So it's fine. I must warn you, this vessel ain't built for plugging cargo. You'll have to leave behind everything you gather here and fish for more materials and reach the destination. What I find odd about this, I, mean, I guess it can't save um, 
all the stuff we have on us, but it's weird that I can bring everything back with me. And a bunch of people. Like, it can't handle cargo, but it can on the way back. Bahaha. <laughs> <laughs> Worry not if Junior Island is in St. Pants, so cool. I will take care of her as though she were my own daughter. I'd rather, I'd really rather you didn't. I don't want people to start thinking we're related. <laughs> By the way, are you alright, Maroth? You looked a little peaky when you, when the stone tablet started glowing earlier. We're talking about, I'm fine. I've made a sterner stuff than, than you weaklings, that's for sure. Well, alright, be careful. But be careful, you two. If things get dangerous, I want you both to come back here right away. I reckon you'll be just fine, but still come back soon, eh? Can't wait to meet the new mates. Yeah, you bring back with you. All aboard for a triple rod. Time to set sail. Here we go. Off we go. To another island, maybe the last major island we go into in the game, I'm not positive. What do you think of this hard on? This world was once barren, barren and bare, but now it's hums with life. It may, it may be nothing more than illusion, we're ready to shatter any moment, but there are still things here that I believe in. Oh, hello. Like the power of the humans and the power of creation. Okay. Alright there, Harry Hermit. Here we go. Anyone want any deep thoughts? Anything like really deep and philosophical and theological or whatever to, to discuss or think about or consider? Anyone out there? Because I have some deep stuff, deep heavy stuff on my mind right now. Deep, deep, deep heavy stuff. So, if you want to hear anything, just leave something in chat and um, I can discuss it or not. Either way is fine with me. I will be thinking on these things anyway. I wonder if Moonbrook's going to be like snowy. I have a feeling it looked like the, the thing we saw on the map. It looked like it might have some mountains and snow and blizzards and whatnot. The land of ceaseless strife, Moonbrook. Okay. Yep, I see snow. So this is the island of Harry Hermit. Tell us about it. Forbidden place where no human dare set foot. I'll stay here and see the ship. The crow's nest needs swabbing, and the uh, mizzle mast needs mizzling. Mizzling, whatever. When you get when you're when you want to head back to the Isle of Waking, just say the word. Got it. CFG. What's all this fluffy white stuff? The way the Hermit talked about this place, I thought the ground would be re. Huh? Oh, mighty Maroth, master of destruction. That's one of these really slow-going talks where we have to wait for them to say something else every so often. The Isle abounds with death and devastation, the perfect place for you to realize your true potential. Should I not give him powerful weapons? I'm starting to wonder. Really starting to consider that. If you got a thought, you can leave a comment below. And chat it. I await your awakening with bated breath. Okay, bub. Alright, can we move now? A voice again. Who is it? What do they want? By Jove. Oh, here comes someone. What in the world do we have here then? What's this? Snow. Well, there goes some snow in the water. Is 
It's not normal for humans to pay visits to these parts. Not only the monsters, I suggest, suggest you leave now before I drive you out by force. Hmm? Judging by your vacant expression, it would seem you haven't the slightness for that manner of subterfuge. Perhaps you're not in the league with the enemy after all. But then what in the world brings you to a place like this? Uh, I say a builder, and you've come here seeking wounding warriors to help you fight the children of Hargon? A builder? Could the legends be true? Could you be the builder who will bring balance back to the Moonbrook? I hope so. Mm. Well met, my lord. Warwick, captain of the Moonbrook Brigade of Guards, at your service. My good fellow, I require your aid. Follow me with thee. Lord Jerome. Good news, this young fellow is a long way to build her. This emissary of annihilation will lead us to the victory on the battlefield. Ha! <laughs> Great. What, this is not some low jabbery. Jeopardy, is it? You speak the truth? Um, uh, like, yeah, and stuff. Do not be seen, Your Majesty. Come now. We believe this dull-eyed simpleton will lead us to glory. How much longer must we hide here in the, like rats? Nothing more than take the fight to the enemy, but we are powerless to do so. Or what? Who's this emissary of annihilation? Who's the enemy? What are we talking about? The fight too? Help! Of course, hold on. Anessa, help is at hand. My boy, if you truly are a builder, I have a favor to ask you. An official command from the King of Moonbrook. At some point, so I was trying to always get that taken care of. The mighty warrior you see stricken before you is Anessa, the general of the Moonbrook Brigade of Guards. She faced a pestil pestilential fiend in battle and now lies racked with poison. If you are who you claim you are, you should have no difficulty making a dose of antidotal herb to cure of this corruption, yes? Medicine leaves, frog stools, all the stuff of an apothecary pot can be found hereabouts. I pray they prepare a dose of antidotal herb. Yeah, I've got a weird feeling there's a bunch of really tough monsters, monsters up that way. I've never been so shy from a fight, but we should probably help the woman before we go looking for fun. I think I saw some bushes and mushrooms in the cave near the docks. How about we check there first? Thank <laughs> you. 
him. Oh. There we go. If I was paying attention, I would have figured it out. I could try and cook everything. Oh, some days I'm so tired, I can't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Good gracious, the Dosa Anderson Dosa Derb. There's no doubt about it. You are a builder after all. Well, give it to me, I pretty. Here you go. A thousand things, young builder, with this. Unless you'll live to find another day, and many more after that. Thanks again, you're a kind soul and a brave one, too. So thank you so brazenly created with no fear of divine judgment, your holy actions may occur. Such is life of the builder, I suppose. My people are true followers of the children of Hargon, but we would never dream of embarking on such a simple course. Don't tell me a lot of falling for that rubbish, too. But if you're on the same side as the cult, then who exactly are you fighting against? Erg. Erg. Arr. And that's not my dear girl. How good is it to see you well again? As all thanks to you, Your Majesty, had you not cured me of the endless little dirt, my fair and would have perished. But where in the world did you find it? And who are you, pray tell? The last complete. You made the medicine, did you? I, it seems I owe you my life, Builder. Yes, you do. And those accursed monsters tore down the castle walls and took up residence in the ruins. I thought our fight was over. I did not dare to dream that that Builder would soon appear in the atmosphere of annihilation sent to, sent to us by Holy Hargon himself. Night Noah. Indeed, thanks to you, my fight, our fight, it is not yet over. But our position is still weak. We must reclaim our seat of power in the throne room of Moonbrick Castle. Come along, MFG. You and Maroth follow me. We're going to storm the castle and give those usurpers a jolly good licking. I know you'd love to join us in Asset, but I think it's best just to hear and recover your strength. I shall lead our two new recruits into the battle. The monsters have claimed the castle are no feeble foe. I suggest you make some medicinal herbs from the medicinal shrubs growing nearby before we depart. Mm. Come and cheek and mouth, let's go give these rotters what for. Mm. Yeah, I shouldn't have made some of the other things, but let's just go. We'll just hope for the best. Thing. What's left of it? Is this supposed to be a castle? Pfft. Looks like a pile of old stones to me. Indeed, this was once a great fortress. But alas, the monsters have reduced it to ruins. <sighs> What's eating you, effigy? What, you knew moon work had been destroyed, but you thought it had already been rebuilt by the princess? The princess, ha. Huh? Wherever did you get that idea? Huh? Huh. Enough of your daydreams, FG. We've got some monsters to mash. Scree hee hee, now that though the pethky humans are no more, we've got the whole place to ourselves. Huh? Hmm, a hey, human? I thought we wiped you out already. Everyone over here, we've got some some stragglers to fence off. Oh, well, there's more. Okay.
That's it. Monsters are defeated. I yield, I yield, honestly, you humans are too stubborn. Screw he, you may have beaten me, but our army has got the place surrounded. You'll never win this war. Keep fighting just like the children of Hargan taught you. Let death and destruction reign here forever. More. Seth is new birth destiny. Huzzah, move our castle's ours once more. Three cheers for FGM are off. Hip hip. No offense, Bully, but I don't think taking control of this pile of rubble is really worth celebrating. <laughs> that, That's as may be, but I say, you two, where did you get such jashing powerful weapons? Build them yourselves, did you, FG? Those simple skills of yours may come in useful indeed. I say you on, anyway. Are you with the children of Hargan, or. And so are the monsters, then why are you. Bravo, soldiers. Comes the king. You have banished our beastly brothers, and the castle is back in the hands of his rightful owner. We owe you and Malroth a debt of gratitude. FG, our fight may yet rage forevermore, just as Hargan wills it. Permit me to explain. We of Moonbrick understand as our duty, nay, our destiny, to continue to fight, just as the children of Hargan decree. What, you're fighting the children of Hargon because the children of Hargon told you to? Why would you believe that rubbish? Why would we not? As we find ourselves at the brink of defeat, the emissary of annihilation has come to deliver us, just as the prophecy said he would. And lo, the builders shall be sent to these shores to build vast profane creations that Hargon's most loyal children must tear these foul affronts asunder. No act better embodies his teaching the war. No sin is more carnal than ending the fighting. Whether in victory or defeat, it is our fate to fight forever and ever. Okay, that's fine. But in essence, with FG Maroth on our side, we might just be able to win. We can escape the bally old fate. Are you serious? You would defy the children of Hargan's teachings? Gazook's Warwick. Never in all my years have I heard such poppycock as Knights of Moonbrook is our sworn duty to keep the war raging, not end it. <laughs> FG, you said you were looking for fighters to join your cause. Yes. Well, I know one end of a sword from the other. The second this war is over, I'll come with you. That's why I need your help to defeat the children of Hargan and end this war. Are you with me? Yeah, I guess I'm with you, dude. Oh, thanks you so much, FG. I don't want to die on this blasted battle, and with your aid, I dare say I shan't. Okay, hold on. Off. FG, was it? Thank you for risking all to help us win back the throne. But allow me to be blunt. Neither I nor the Lord Jerome nor this Majesty have any intention of winning this war. We are and we remain faithful servants of destruction. Okay. That being said, there's a little destruction we can wreck in our current sorry state. We do need your help. Oh. Okay. Our first priority is to rebuild this castle. We need a defensive position to muster our forces and push back the enemy. The heart of the castle is the throne room. Here, take these sections of castle wall and build a barricade across the opening. But don't forget the wall must be at least two blocks high and let the refortification re begin. Okay, so I'm going here. Alright, that's not a problem. I was wondering if I was going to have to put, build this wall. Oh. That's a heart. Oh. Nice. We got a shabby throne on now. Can I sit? Can I sit? I want to sit. I'm sitting on the throne! Sorry. I just said to do that. Impressive hey. work, builder. Our first fully fledged fortification is complete. You call this a fortification? You honestly the strategic strength of a sound fortification, in my mouth. When constructed correctly, constructed correctly, walls built from castle wall blocks are nigh on unbreakable. The more we repair the castle with stout castle wall blocks, the more we shall be spared the monster's meddling, and the better we may prepare for our counterattack. From this throne room, let's expand our fortifications and begin the fight back. 
Anessa and I have trained together, but we could never match her when it came to strategy. If you're here to learn about battle, you could jolly well deal worse than to learn from her. Aha. She says she has no interest in women's war, but just wait until she sees all the incredible creations the Builder can bring forth. She may change her tune a little. In any case, I'm going to offer you my own thanks for fortifying the throne room. Here, my dear boy, a boon. And this now leaves. Okay. So I can make medicine. Hold on, I can sense something. Oh, we're going to fight. Let's be smart about this. Let's save here. Just to be safe. Never hurts to save. Trust me on this one. No, no. Just save. Stop, stop, stop. Now we're gonna have a battle coming. I smell monsters have a G lots of them and they're headed this way. We only just got here and the monsters are already launching a massive attack against us. So it's silent really is a war zone. Are, are you all fixed to fight then? Yes. Brilliant, let's stick it. Majesty, please remain in the throne room. Thanks to effigy repairs, it's the safest place in the castle. The monsters cannot breach these walls. Hmm. Everyone ready? Let's mess these monsters up. Okay. Ah, huh, looks like the monsters around here got a bit have a bit of backbone. This is my kind of place. Good show out there, Malroth FG. Your repairs protected his majesty wonderfully well. Yeah, you're right, but the monsters not being able to get through those walls. Guess you know what you're talking about. Yes she does. Although bigger monsters probably could get through, but you know, whatever. Indeed, while our fortifications may currently only enclose the throne room, we now have a safe base from which to expand our territory. Next goal is to be gradually repair the rest of the ruined rooms from the castle wall and expand our sphere of influence. However, the monster's military might has been paralleled. The very best we can hope for is to hold their forces back and stave off defeat. I'm not standing your way after you or nor Maloth, but believe me when I say this is not a war that we can win. As long as I live, I shall fight. This is what the children of Hargan have taught me, and this is my heartfelt conviction. Okay. Whichever Hargan have completely surrounded, have us completely surrounded, breaking the siege will not be easy. They've got the backs against the wall, have they? It does feel like it. Is their armor really that strong? Well, why don't you go and have a look for your, see for yourself? It's about time we scouted out the enemy's positions. Ooh, sounds like fun. Very well, Warwick. I'd like to take these two and form a reconnaissance party. The mountain to the southeast shall afford you a good view of their forces. If you sneak about it, you won't stand a chance of direct conversation with our entire army. Okay. Roger that. Follow me, you two. I'll be quiet as my snow. Okay. 
So this is lookout, is it? Look at the GF over there. Oh, they got a big cave. They have a cave troll. Not good. So that's the monster's army, the one that has you besieged. Oh, boy. The big guy is a problem. Hurrung, Skelly Skeletons defeated by pesky humans. Rumor must be true. Then Builder comes to Island. Grr, her, her. That's good news. This means we're not over yet. More fun, fighty times ahead. Oh, bye. Break down their barricades. Beat them back black and blue. To let them live. Fun, fun, fighting forever and ever. Who are the flame headed guys? I'm not familiar with them. Satisfy Mauroth, the fiends will stop, and nothing's going to suffer. And this is our only advance guard. And that's them may have a point. Uh, they're going to start on that wingy windbag. She can take her heartfelt convictions to get where the sun don't shine. Okay. What's the conviction anyway? Well, whatever. We better get back to the castle. That troll seemed pretty keen to get the party started. All right, let's head back and prepare for the party, so to speak. Ah, I see you're back from your little scouting expedition. As you've now seen for yourself, the monsters have us completely blockaded. We can't simply walk out the front door whenever the, the fancy strikes us. At this stage, our best, I dare say, our only course of action is to gather what resources we can use in the fortified position. And we must be swift. It would, it would seem the fiends are preparing to sally against us forthwith. Cameras and that, I just have this version going through this now. There's so much work to be done on the castle at present, the only throne room was fortified. Let's begin here and expand outwards. First things first, I think it's best that you move all the crafting stations you require into the throne room. What the devil? You intend to turn a royal reception into a grubby workroom? I fear we have no choice, Majesty. We can effectively protect the builder if he works out in the open. Of all the rotten size, so be it. Do as you will. Enough to you should find a stone workbench, a forge, an amber and bonfire hereabouts. Be sport and bring them into the throne room, would you? Uh, I just built one too. But keep your wits about you, the monsters can strike in a moment. Yep. 
What else do you got company? You two all right? Hey, George, you never expect monsters to strike so soon. It's like that belly troll said, they're going to keep attacking. We have to wait away forever and ever. We'll have to distract you from the task at hand, Richie. We'll hold them back and you grab the workstations. Yeah, the anvil's the only thing I'm missing. That's all of them. Here he comes. Say thank you. Got to work, Eugene. Now that we, now that the crafting stations are secure, the rebuilding work can begin in earnest. As the skeletons have us surrounded with their watchful sockets ever fixed upon us, it may prove difficult to leave the castle grounds. But leave we must. We have to step outside in some way. We're all together. The many materials needed to rebuild the defenses. All we have here are ruins and rocks. The best approach might simply be to slip from the castle swiftly and stealthily, gather what resources we can, and hurry back before we're discovered. Right, so you can focus on building and gathering <laughs> materials while smashing monsters against in your way. Gather and hunt, right? It seems like you two make a good team. Huh. Let me join the team too. Maroth and I shall follow in your footsteps and keep the fiends at bay, so you can focus on the fortifications. What am I making? Get to Builder, I don't know why you came to this accursed island, but ever since you arrived, the monsters have grown even more fierce. I'm sure young Warwick has told you already, but we you mustn't waste your precious time trying to fight them off. Just ignore them and they'll go away eventually. You'll be far better served retreating to within the fortifications and we shall join you there once the beastly beasts have been bested. Speaking of the beast, I have the most beastly hunger. You don't happen to have anything to eat eat, do you? You know what they say about armies and what they march on. I may not be too much marching, but it's high time I did some munching. We have some potato patch, but the belly things jelly snowed over, and for the life of me, I can't remember which one of these piles it's under. I think it's important to go with potato from and roast on the bonfire for me, would you? Thank you. 
didn't do much in the desert. Constant army, I think they're out. Fun. Come on, we're trying to do stuff. So happy about that. But I needed one for myself, so I was like, yeah, sorry, dude. So it just keeps coming back too. And then we clear it off. I'm glad they have they had some food here. Uh okay. I'm trying to get the potato. Okay. Talk to this guy and give it to him. Goodness gracious me, is that a fresh of a potato in your pocket? Gosh that Smells incredible. Hurry up and hand it over. Absolutely delicious. Soft and fluffy with a rich, earthy aroma. Very much like yourself. I speak to your softness, of course. Not your musk. But do not blame yourself. The whole generation is weak, not just you. Thanks! Many more soldiers than this survived the monster's assault, but they let their cowardice get the better of them, and they fled the castle to save their skins. I've been fighting for 50 years now. That is all I know, so don't let me catch you trying to end this war. It's all too rare a thing to find one meaning to life. I pray the builder do not take that away from me. Ah, but I forget myself. You have done me a great service and must be justly rewarded. Pray take these with my thanks. And may they serve you well. Okay, more medicinal herbs. Another quest. Ah, gee, I would like to enlist your aid in a certain matter. We all are well worried from battle and require a place to rest. Actually, build us each a bed and place place them within the throne room walls. What? It's not enough that you make the workshop in my throne room? Now you have to serve as a barracks tool? Who's that patient you're asking for the moment? This is 
our place of safety. Should we sleep out in the open, we may never wake up. Huh, very well, General. Until mm -hmm. the bed chambers are rebuilt, I shall endure it. Nacelle, you should need wood to make the beds, and there's plenty of the timber scattered around the cluster of ruins. It's for grass fiber that can be collected from freesia plants. Perhaps she built six simple beds and placed them safely within turmoil walls. Quickly makes it fits. The hard part is going to be placing it. Not, not, not what I wanted to do. It doesn't hurt, but it's not what I was planning on doing right there. Trying to pick it up. Trying to change my thingy. Really good, we now have enough beds for each of us. Each and all of us to rest and recuperate after battle. And if anyone's foolish enough to fall in the field, laying them on the bed will soon bring them back to their senses. We of the Moonberg Brigade and Guard shall handle the fighting if you should be so good as to come to the aid of our wounded. Katsuk's first few turn the room into a workshop, now a barracks. Have you no respect for His Majesty? Ho oh, ho, come now, Jerome. At first, I too was a little perturbed by it, but needs must. But well, one room will not satisfy the needs for long. We must begin to expand our fortifications. And we need more builders, soldiers to boot. Ours is noble cause. What the devil do we need to rally the good men and women to it? The bell! What's that? Have we tried using the builder's bell? You mean that bell over there? It's been there since long as I remember, but... I haven't... The fog is what it's for. Sorry, I kind of spaced out from that there. Check and chat. <laughs> it happens. I am getting close to stopping the stream. You're serious to say the rest of thing might have magical powers? So the builder's bell will be next, looks like. I'll use that. I'm gonna save here. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna stop the stream now.